Thank you. Yes, so this is one of the first most comprehensive MRI study of patients previously hospitalized with COVID-19. We found that at five months after discharge, patients who were previously hospitalized are three times more likely to have abnormalities involving multiple organs, uh, including the lungs, brain, and kidneys. The biggest impact we saw was on the lungs, but other organs that were found to be affected were the brain and the kidneys. Well, yeah, and is that surprising? I mean, a lot of people won't be too surprised, I guess, that the lungs were impacted because it's a res respiratory illness. But what about the brain and the kidneys? Was that a surprise to researchers? Certainly. So there have been other studies from the UK Biobank investigators early on showing that even mild infections can affect the brain. Uh, and there, were, there was a study uh, by investigators in Glasgow showing that the kidneys can also be affected in the early stages. But this is the first follow-up study at about five months from infection. Uh, and we're still seeing this damage persists um, in some of the organs. So and, uh, this is quite concerning. Yeah. And, and can, could you link the severity of the abnormality to the severity of the COVID? Yes, we did see an association between how severe the infection was um, in the acute setting and the extent of organs that are involved at follow-up. And, and you're talking about the physical toll here. Were there any studies into what impact this might have mentally on people, the, the, the stress involved of, of going through this? Yes, so another important finding from our work was that people who had more organs involved at follow-up uh, were four times more likely to report severe and very severe physical and mental health impairment. So it does appear to take a toll even on the mental health of patients uh, who were previously hospitalised with this infection. Well, yes, and is it possible to say whether or not the, the abnormalities, the damage that you're talking about to these organs is permanent or how much do you know about what's, what the future prognosis is for these people? So that's an area of active research for us. We're seeing that some people do recover over time, but it is pretty remarkable that they have changes even five months after discharge from hospital. You'd expect that by five months they would have recovered, uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Um, and this is obviously something that we're going to look into um, uh, on serial or follow-up imaging at later time points. We're also going to study what this means for people in the long term are they more likely to come into hospital in the future with organ um, damage and organ dysfunction um, and whether they're more likely to have uh, more symptoms in the future? And clearly hugely helpful to have a study like this to start to look at these issues, which a lot of people have been struggling with for, for some time now. To what extent do you think there should be more research generally into COVID and, and, and its repercussions? I think there has been uh, definitely a, a lack of research into the long-term effects. And this is because of um, widespread vaccination reducing the severity of uh, the acute infection. But what people forget is long COVID is a serious concern. Uh, it affects the quality of life of individuals. People may not be able to return to work. Um, and, and I think that this is an area that we still need to continue researching, particularly because we still don't have answers to many of these questions.